Hello everyone and welcome to the Gunning Galate. I'm just gonna have to turn this one up just a wee bit. I hope you're doing so well. I hope you're doing super cadrafragilistic expialidocious. Happiness is a blessing indeed. Why'd I say that? But it's true. Uh, I haven't made a video in a while, but I'm really excited to do this with you because Chilling Rain has finally hit the shelves. So, Gizard and the Lucky Egg right away, that's the number one thing. Can I get a Magic Genie? Mm-hmm, maybe, perhaps. Um, first things first, um, I got this from Chaos Collectibles. This absolute peach gem baby boo. Uh, as some of y'all know, I'm a huge fan of this particular Pokemon, so I was just trying to find some Chilling Rain um, loose packs, and here you have it, Masprit. This is one of my favorite legendary Pokemon ever. So this little friend's going over here. I'm not really sure uh, what I'm going to do with it, but we'll see. And this little notebook, you can get a whole bunch. There's like, they're so good with making collections of things. Look at that, ADP, you got Darkrai, you got Buizel. Or Weasel, Floatzel, uh, Pachirisu, you got the um, Island Guardians, and then Pikachu, that's actually pretty cute. I love it. What a magic. Um, so, f well, so far, I mean, uh, a lot of stores have been really supportive. Um, I did get some packs from my good friends, Cardboard Classic Games. These guys are wonderful, Jack and Magda. If you're in Toronto, I would recommend you check them out. They are so good. These are the pulls that I have so far. Uh, from Chilling Rain, from a few uh, pre-release kits that I got, or some random single packs. So here is what I got, Zara or a V. I got two of these, which is pretty cool. Galarian Zapdos, it's been a week, and I think you can tell that I've gone kind of uh, crazy for the set. Tornadus VMAX, uh, which was from packs from Cardboard Classics. This Galarian Slowking, I think you might have seen this. There's Blaziken V, Lipard V, Brawly, Full Art. We I got a Flannery uh, Rainbow Rare, which is quite magical. And then Fana Waves and Urn of Vitality. So, quite a collection early on, but we know what happens when the box is in your hands. So, hopefully, some magic can be pulled. Uh, this is probably going to take a while because uh, this is how it tends to be. Uh, I was very fortunate also to pull the four pre-release um, promos too from the pre-release kit. And uh, Cinderace, what a magic with Scorbunny, can't beat that. And then Cresselia, no doubt. Um, definitely the one that I think a lot of people have been chasing, but a bit of everything. It's so much easier to just, uh, when you actually get lucky with all four. The Intellion artwork is really cool too, so... What a magic there indeed. So, let's get cracking. If you're hearing the music, you're hearing Donkey Kong. Uh, Donkey Kong Land has been just the vibe that I've been rolling with recently. And, um, and uh, yeah, so let's see what we get here. I'm so excited. I haven't opened a booster box on this channel in like four years. And yet here I am. So, after so long, I usually get to see these all packaged up in the store. Um, I don't think I ever envisioned that I would be able to do something like this in my life. So, I appreciate the opportunity that I have and I've given myself also to make this type of dream a reality. So, so I'm going to be a little meticulous here, or try to be meticulous. So, we're going to start with the left side first. Right on. Here we go. First pack. Is it a first pack magic? Let's try to get that shadow out of the way. Mesper, what do you got? Lucky Egg from Gizard. What do you got? There we go. Okay. Ice Rider Calyrex. It's funny because I don't know what's happening with, with this set, to be honest with you. Um, I mean, not that I don't know, but I haven't quite exactly uh, been too familiar with this generation of things. Because it's just... I haven't played Sword and Shield. I actually need to play Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, and that's many thanks to Rainbow Chew, who was the deciding factor in that. Um, she knows so much about Pokemon. Oh my gosh, Porygon 2! That is such a beautiful card. I, I always take such great appreciation and care for those who... Oh, felt a little bend in that. Uh, but for those who who've been th with the hobby all throughout. It doesn't have to be the TCG, but appreciation for Pokemon in general. 
I think is such a beautiful thing. So, if you don't know Rainbow Chew, I think you should get on that, but... She's more famous than me, Dr. Phil. <laughs> Alright, Furfru. We have Diglett, Larvesta, and Mayan Pokemon also is a very wonderful and passionate person for the TCG and is very active and it's great, you know, because a lot of people were saying that, oh, you know, things are changing and the market is, is normalizing itself. Yeah, sure it is. I mean, that's sort of expected to happen, right? When you have so many people that, oh, yo, this song is so good. Let me just turn this up. It's you went, you're on the pirate ship. Yeah, yeah, and you're in about you're about to take on King K. Rule. Mm-hmm. But yeah, what was I saying? I lost track. That tends to happen. I'm sure I'll circle back. I appreciate this artwork like crazy. Look at the Shuppet by Okacheke. Yes. That's going in the appreciation pile. I'm sure is that oh yeah, same with this. Blitzel Yogonosuke. Wow. Very interesting. This dri Drizzile is so cool, too. Let's see if I can get a Reverse Hollow. Dyna Tree Hill, okay. Falling out of my hands, Justified Gloves. Galarian Yamask, this is one of my favorite cards also. So, yeah, that's really cool. The tension in this music is amazing. I mean, I appreciate it so much. I didn't think I would listen to it again, but that's not true, because every few months I revert back to... Well, what's going on here? A little bit. There's some mangle action going on here. Um, yeah, every few months I always have to listen to the boss battle theme <laughs> from Donkey Kong uh, Land. It's such an intense and immense song. Oh, focus, Sobble. And it's going to come. I think it's going to happen at the end. I wish I could replay it until the end of time. Fog Crystal Reverse Hall. Oh, Porygon Rainbow Chew. I know you know. That is sweet. Oh, and that first V is a Celebi. Well, ain't that nice. Not too shabby. Oh, so much tension. I can feel the tension in my bones. On grandiose scales, I hope those of you that have maintained a relationship with Pokemon have been able to do so happily. Uh, I think there's so many people that get like really worked up about you know, the ability to get things or not get things. I think we're living in a time where, especially with the way that e-commerce is really ramped up, it's so possible to get things. But I, ha I can't say that without mentioning my Supreme... Wow, that's such a cool energy card. I can't say that without mentioning my slight disdain for the Pokemon Center. Ooh, first hollow is a single strike Urshifu. Okay, so how many how many packs have I cracked into? So it's been three, three um, green cards, two uh, so-called white code cards. But yeah, I think a lot of people get like really upset about things when it comes to hobbies and collecting Pokemon. Let's take, take a peek. Oh, it's a green code card. <laughs> well, I'm still going to do the trick because, you know, you have to respect all the cards. Even though I get tempted sometimes just to like rip to the end. But as I was saying, uh, we live in a time where it's not, you couldn't get any easier with getting your hands on stuff, right? So, no stress. It will come. They will print. They're printing these things like crazy. Galarian surfaced. Look at Shining Fates, for example. I suffered from some pretty severe FOMO myself. I was like, I gotta get everything while I can because I need to get it and I need to see what I get. And, like, that kind of attitude's fine. <laughs> If you can afford it, but it's also not the smartest thing to do because you're gonna you're gonna be a little too impulsive, maybe. And we all are kind of impulsive at times, right? Especially when it comes to this. I mean, this is a luxury item, a hobby, right? To be able to work and spend money on, no matter how young or old you are. But it's so wonderful that we actually can get to do this. Oh, Galarian Slowpoke. Oh, a Spirit Tomb. Very freaky Spirit Tomb. This, uh, this song, oh, that's the Aztec song. That's when you're like in the uh, uh, kind of like like this maze thing. And this is the underwater song. So beautiful. Turn that up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can hear that now. I don't even know if you've been able to hear most of it throughout this. But this is definitely a... Oh, look at the knit cast form. 
Really nice quillfish. Ralts, hello my friend. There is a Gallade in this set. It's a really, really cool card. Uh, there's a lot of texture and colors to it. This Hatchroom actually is going in the appreciation pile. Flaffy is adorable. Kakuna, so much is going on. Flannery and a Kecleon. That's pretty intense. Lots of colors in that one. Okay, we are like halfway through the first side. And let's try to notice some trends here. I'm seeing a pack in this pile that has a different crimping. And like so many people like to... Uh, put mysterious things. I guess the weight thing was real about the hollows being, you know, heavy packs or whatever. But, I don't know. <laughs> Look at the Swirlix. That's funny. Lapras, Banet, really intense. I haven't seen any artwork from Takia in a long time. And if you know me, you know that Takia is one of my favorite illustrators of all time. Ew. What? That's nasty. Where's the rare? What did I do with it? Was there? Oh, it was the banana. I must have done the cartridge wrong. Well, no spoilers there. Oh, this is such a good song. Isn't this also an underwater song? How come I don't know this? I like, I don't play this game every year, but I had this trend where I would play every single Donkey Kong game in the summer, like Donkey Kong Country 1, 2, and 3. And I missed out on Donkey Kong Country 2 a little bit, but. I got to play it again because of emulators, right? That is so good. Magical. Eevee Heroes is a thing, isn't it? Weeding Gloves. Oh my goodness, Kamaya is in the house. I feel like the soundtrack is so appropriate for this pull. Who's the face? It's a window. It's a general... You know what this could be? This could be something to do with Calrex. The alternates, the alternate VMAX, because isn't there someone staring out the window when it's flying by? That's amazing. Holy cow. The only second hollow that I have pulled from the sip box. Dun, 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 dun. This is like the first level. No, it's not. We're getting to the really cool levels. Um, there's a, a song called Something Climb. How come I don't know this right now? Monkey Mountain. Monkey Mountain is one of the best songs in this whole soundtrack. It's so elaborate and so colorful and very memorable. And who was the person who made this? What did it look like? What kind of system were they working on? I, I ask myself these kinds of questions. Volcarona and a Rapid Strike Urshifu. So we have the Single Strike and Rapid Strike, the third hollow of this box. Yeah, no, 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 no. Ice Rider Calrix. I watched all of Pokemon Origins a few weeks ago. And I love the close-ups they have. What is it going to be? Oop. Ooh. Ooh. I think there's a thing here. Yo, can I get a full art? So I basically... Uh, as I've been saying lately, it sounds kind of funny. But I've been like, oh, this is it. This is the song. Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn it. Okay. Okay, I think something's in this pack. I got a good feeling. Laron, that's actually kind of interesting. Fire resistant gloves. I have only pulled one alternate art in my entire time. Oh, for for cool. Uh, and it was the um, Urshifu. Oh, Shadow Rider Calrex. Well, that's not too bad. A V card. I, I'm trying not to sound disappointed because I'm not. But um, it's kind of funny. I can't deny it. There's only greatness waiting in this. Uh, in this pack, in this in this box, I was uh, I had a flash of randomness a while ago, where I was like Galarian Moltres. That's going to be the alt art. I don't want to be disappointed because that would suck. Damn it, da, da. This is not the song I was talking about, by the way. This is another one, but it's still really good. Da, 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 da. I love when they go an octave higher, and it makes you want to like pump the air with happiness. Ain't that right, Miss Brit? You know, I, I I don't have regret. I mean, I love what I did. I chose to do with, uh, uh, I did some custom artwork a few, well, like a month ago? Actually, no, it was like at the end of 2020 with Rose Castle, not Pokemon. You can find this piece of art that she did for me uh, on my Instagram channel. 
but it was so beautiful and it was very sentimental for me and I haven't been able to really talk about it too much but 2020 uh, as it was for many people and I'm not going to be really harping on this too much really cool artwork there but it's tough it was sad I lost some, I lost a few people I lost many things I had to learn how to deal with loss and I'm really fortunate that uh, I was able to wait until the tender age of 30 to until I would experience loss so close to home uh, and it was a precursor for what's to come really but um, but I did this custom art piece from Pokemon Rose Castle and she did such a good job and I was really mulling over my top six who would be my top six Pokemon that would enter my who would be part of my journey and I didn't choose Mesprit. Mesprit didn't make the cut, unfortunately. Yes, but Shaman did. Shaman did. I had the landform Shaman Hedgehog baby sitting on my lap. This is great. Oh. No way, baby. Are you for real right now? That is madness. Rainbow Rare Celebi. And it's crazy because recently I was talking about like I haven't had a pull yet that made my jaw drop like in a while. You know, any alt art I think at this rate would have me freak out. But uh, holy smokes, Celebi! Also, I'm using different types of sleeves. I'm using these Dragon Shield sleeves, which look kind of like this. They're super long, and you can like fold it in. Holy cow! I got the Rambo Rare Celebi V Max. Very beautiful onion fairy. Okay, well, I am having a laugh right now. I love when things happen so serendipitously like that. Oh, it feels so good to be opening a booster box right now. That's so much fun. I was I was thinking about this for a while because I pre-order it from Harry Tarantula. Oh, Squovit, you're going into the cool commons artwork. Um, yeah. What was I going to say? Oh, Komaiostini! Yeah, that's going to the cool art. Blitzel Reverse Hollow, well that's magical. And Zangoose. That is really cool. Okay, we're down to the final two packs. I think what I might do is, no matter how hard I try, um, I just don't want my phone to run out of space. But I'm going to try to wait until... What are we part? I'm looking at the timestamp. 17. Oh, blimp off. Oh, said this is the song. This is the song that I like really liked. This song is so good. And it's a great way to end this video. It's really short. Yeah. Grookey. I'm gonna do this in two parts, just because I think it's worth it. Still ended up being like 18 minutes, gonna be pretty much 20 minutes. Of madness and goodness. Curlia, what is up? Fa crystal. Coffee. And a spirit tomb. This song is such a jam. And here I am talking over it. Who wants to come over and party with the Gunning Gallade? <laughs> okay, so I won't take a little peek. Well, I got a Seeker Rare. Holy cow. Okay, what is left for me in this box? Is there an Alt Heart? Yay, Porygon, Heracross, Sawbone. It's all about the arpeggios back then. Agatha, Reverse Hollow is a Haunter. Oh, and a Malamar non hollow. Well then, let's take a little analysis here. Perfect timing for the song to end. So, out of all the code cards, I got two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, Ten, eleven, twelve. So twelve. Twelve green code cards. Six white code cards. So that's a trend. Eighteen out of eighteen. Six white and um, twelve green. Uh, the cards that definitely stuck stuck out to me. I have to give credit to these guys. Look at that steamy. Look at that. Our Kamaya is on another planet. This Squobit is really nice. We have Swirlix, which is so funny. Everything's so. It's in a donut. It's in a donut. Oh, a Kecleon and all its forms and shapes. What a... Oh, it's very Pokemon uh, Snap-esque. Oh, Hatchroom. I love the... There's something about the shapes. The choice of shapes 
Miki Kudo. Yeah, Miki Kudo is wonderful. Yo, Porygon. This is definitely for Rainbow Chu because I know how much she loves her Porygon. And then Yamask. And there's the face of the uh, Galarian Yamask and the the normal Yamask. Blitzol. So beautiful. And then Shuppet. Really nice card. And then, you know what's weird? I only got two Vs on that side. I got Shadow Rider Calyrex and Celebi. And then for all the, or the other, like the rares, I got this wonderful Shaman, Rapid Strike Urshifu. Then we have Porygon Z by Kamaya, which is so amazing. Spirit 2, and then Single Strike Urshifu. Now time for the magic. The magic was this Rainbow Rare Celebi. That is so beautiful. That's so beautiful. I'm so happy. Thank you for joining me. And the Lucky Egg did some madness too. So that's the Gunny Gallade for the first part of this uh, wild opening. Um, thank you all for watching. Please check out the Instagram and the um, TikTok and all that jazz. I appreciate your support. So until the next time, keep it real. Bye for now.